I have a 10 year plan for building a business and I'm going to share that with you, especially in the notes of the video, there will be a lot more detailed uh, explanation of it. But I want to share it with you because if you would love to have a business one day that fulfills you, that allows you to express uh, your passions, I call this an authentic business, then I think this plan might be interesting for you. So the first year is about the initial audience building, letting your, your future true fans find you by creating content and sharing the content, spreading it with, for example, Facebook ads or other ways of amplifying the reach of your content. That's the first year is content, audience building and starting to engage with your audience, learning about them, finding out what they care about and what they're spending money on so that you might then create the services, programs, products that they would also love to buy. The second year then is to focus while you continue your content. The second year you start to focus on one-to-one -one services, um, helping audience with some kind of skill that you have that's related to the content that you've been creating. So for some people that's coaching, like being a life coach or relationship coach or a health coach, or it could be consulting with some kind of skill, it could be a technical skill that you have, um, uh, counseling, mentoring, healing, um, being a contractor, being a freelancer. So one-to-one -one services is the easiest way to start generating income as soon as possible. You could even do that starting the first year, but I'm giving you a kind of a, a spacious 10-year plan that uh, you can start even if you have a full-time job right now, okay? So, as you start focusing, as you focus on one-on-one -on -one services in the second year, by the end of the second year, you should have enough clients and income to maybe quit your full-time job and get into a part-time position okay maybe if you are you know really active and uh, strategic about how you do these things maybe you could quit your full-time job by the end of the first year and have your business fully support you but I think for most people following this plan thoughtfully they should be able to um, have their business support them uh, part-time by the end of the second year okay so then in the third year you start to add the layer. So these are all layers. So the third year, you continue your content and audience building and engagement. You continue doing your one-to-one, -one, but then now you also add the focus of creating group programs. Some of your one-to-one -one clients will have finished working with you and being part of some kind of group program will be a nice way to continue engaging with you but not doing the one-to-one -one, okay it's kind of kind of like your clients graduate from the one-to-one -one into into your group program and other people from your audience who have been enjoying your content might not be ready to work with you one-to-one -one, and being part of the group program will be helpful for them to support them without um, them paying as much and without you spending as much time with each person okay so that's the that's the um, that's the uh, let's see third year and I'm gonna have details in the notes of this video I haven't memorized this 10-year plan because I don't need to one of my productivity principles is to try not to remember things in our head our head our brain is not great for memorizing things it's great for pattern recognition improvisation creativity etc and to write things down as much as possible so anyway I'm gonna give you that full plan it written down in the notes of the video so then basically as you go in uh, in the 10-year plan next you start creating online courses which is for even more people than your group programs and there, therefore you can reach you can reach um, hundreds of people serving hundreds of people through your online courses instead of just dozens of people in your online in, in your in your group program and then next your focus will become scaling the reach of your online courses through automating the sort of some of the processes and then buying ads for more people to to discover um, your, your your courses and anyway as you keep going from there you will then start to find 
and train mentees who can then take over your one-to-one -one, uh, services. You'll be referring business to them. Your mentees will, will of course be paying for your mentorship uh, and, and maybe your mentees can eventually start helping you run your group programs as well. And then beyond that, you will then start to f uh, find and, and train an, an assistant or maybe a team of people to help you run your business so that you can focus on content, focus on mentoring, and leave the more logistical things for your, for your team to do. Okay, so the end of this 10-year plan basically looks like um, having your team document the, the, the processes in your business so that if any team member needs to go to another job or, or needs to stop working for you, that the documentation will be there through video, through, through articles, so that uh, another team member can take that person's place right away. Okay, so, 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 so the documentation of your business processes by your team will be incredibly important so that by the end of the 10 years, if you follow the plan as I'm sharing with you, you will have a, a full-time income, okay? Your business will be supporting you. It's an authentic, deeply fulfilling business because you started out with your passion. You started out with the things that you want to become known for in the world that you really believe in, right? And you have a team to take care of your logistics. You have an audience that is large and are happy to buy your courses and your group programs, etc or products, by that point you might have additional products, and um, you'll just be focused, it, it'll, it'll become like a, you can go into semi-retirement if you want. You have a full-time income from, from your team managing your business, you focus on content, so you can continually creating some new content, maybe not at the same pace you did before, because by that point you might have your team do some of the content creation. So again, you'll be able to start slowing down the, the pace of your work and focus on more of the bigger picture, mentoring, and still have an income that will allow you to continually sustain yourself. So I hope this is inspiring for you. It's a 10-year plan that I'm already activated. I've already started doing myself. I'm, I'm already in year number five. And, um, and some of you may already have, have elements of the various years of my plan already done. And you may decide to then um, use my plan you know, in your own way, customize it for, for what works for you. So I hope that's exciting. I hope that um, gives you some hope of what is possible if you thoughtfully implement something like this and um, I wish for you uh, the ability to be supported financially by your business uh, and, 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 and particularly a business that feels so authentic to you that is connected to your soul's expression in the world and connected to the way that you love to serve and contribute to humanity's transformation and, and growth.